Hello, it's Tom Huntington. Today we're working with Robot Space. So I've loaded up the GUI. There's pretty much only a GUI that comes with Robot Space. And I'm signing on. And what we're going to do today is create a collection and then view the results of that. And we're going to schedule it in Robot Schedule. Okay, so we have our little tree. And with Space, you can connect to one system at a time which is no problem. You connect up multiple systems if you want, but uh, only one per GUI. So I'm going into storage collections. All right, I have some out there already. First thing I'm going to just show you is uh, the scheduling feature. All you do is right click here and uh, you can just schedule right into robot schedule or there's a command associated with it. So we're going to go in, put that into robot schedule, tell it when we're going to run I have this schedule already, so I'm not going to put it out there. But um, you might want to do a full collection once a week. And if you look in the user guide, there's a command called space collect um, that you could use in any scheduler. So it doesn't have to be robot schedule. We just make it convenient. OK, so I have collections out here. If I want to create a new one, I simply do add. So space will automatically uh, purge information out, too. So we have the ability to, to uh, summarize information, keep summary information, like in this case for a full year. We also can work with the uh, ISPs, ASPs, or all storage. And then we also have the ability to classify things as we collect them. On the advanced option, we can choose whether we want to track member statistics, which I like because I like to see deleted records. I like to see my source file members. And then we also, if we're doing IFS and libraries, we can exclude small objects so that it's not as cluttered. And then what libraries are we going to collect? And if I want all libraries on the system, I would just say include all libraries, just like we're doing. Or we can filter, and we can do generics in here. And then we also have that classification feature and an event threshold. So you can create event thresholds over here to trigger based on maybe size of growth of an individual library. But I want all libraries. Now I could stop there and just click at the library level. But instead, I also want all the detail about the individual objects. So I'm going to collect uh, all objects. I'm not going to use any event thresholds. This is very simple. But we can, we can filter certain object types. I like everything. Once a week, I like to collect everything. So output queues, I can also create an output queue filter and look at the size of those and quickly just say collect all IFS filters. I can basically come in here and select all again. And I can collect the directory, the stream files. I want it all. Hey, okay, that's going to include everything. So now I've created my filter. Uh, client filters we don't really support anymore. It's an older feature. Um, but now I have my collection out there, Tom Detail, and I could run that. Now I already had one called Detail. So I can come up and I can launch the Collection Explorer. Come in here and click on detail and now I can see in the collection explorer I can see what I collected and so I can click on libraries and with this I have a lot of sort criteria. I can see size history so I can see how how this library is doing and I also can right click and I can look at the detail here I can go into collected objects really helpful okay pretty self-explanatory members I, I'm gonna just skip over that to members and just show you uh, you can see deleted records here all the files you've collected IFS directories which is really the money for robot space I can now see how big my, my IFS directories are and I can even drill into this if I wanted to and I can also see size history on it then I also have the ability to look at the IFS by files so just kind of a quick tour here uh, very, very powerful uh, way to look for things. And then the last thing I'll show you is I can click here and I can hold my control button down, click here, and I can right click. And now I can compare IFS directories, for example, and see what IFS directory changed the most from then to now. And now we'll see that the help systems directory over the last month grew the most. And those are the sizes. And it even tells you a number of objects. So IFS, libraries, deleted records, object types. You can look for just save files, journal receivers, all those things that you normally are doing. And it's all done in a GUI. Have a great day.